Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to uh, wire up a tack. Um, this is a 97 Tercel. Uh, basically almost every car will be the same except for like a car with a regular uh, distributor. So basically if it's 80s and up uh, it'll be fuel injected and it'll be almost the exact same. Okay, So here I've run the wires down through the dash and there's a green wire that I had to run through there because I couldn't find a grommet or hole through the firewall. Usually you'd want to go through the firewall so it's nice and neat, but uh, I'll explain this wire in a minute. So to start off with, <clears throat> there's four wires that come off this tack. The green one goes to an ignition source and there's a white one which you can see right there in the uh, 5 amp fuse and there's a red one which is positive and there's a black one to ground. So what I've done was the, gra uh, the black one, I just bolted that to ground. So when I had this dash cover off, I just found a bolt, undid it, and put it like, just in between the bolt and snug the bolt up and put it real tight so, uh, so it was getting good ground. And for the red one, it's kind of a jimmy way, but you know what? The only other way to do this properly is to really splice it and like solder it in and everything, but you know what, it's just a little Tercel, so I'm just going to do it this way. So um, what I've done was I took out a fuse, and of course you're going to want to make sure it's the right fuse. So most cars have, have uh, fuse panels either on the driver's side or on the passenger side or even sometimes on the door here. And uh, so what I've done was I checked which fuse was what, if you can see that. It's not zooming. There you go. And, uh, well, anyways, the red one is just the constant power, constant positive power. Um, it switched, of course. The, the fuse that it's in is actually the ignition switch fuse. So, whenever the ignition turns on, I'll do it here for in a second. It lights up. And the white one is actually for. Um, like an illuminating one. Uh, it's the dimmer fuse and that's basically hooked up to this dimmer switch right here which controls like the dimness of the lights. So whenever I dim the switch the gauge dims too. You don't necessarily need a dimmer switch or or even to have it to a dimmer but I just did it anyways so you know just because I had access to the, the fuse right there. So if you don't want to use a dimmer, link it to your positive ignition wire. So now that I have the other three wires taken care of, I'll get to the fourth one. That's the, that's the green wire. So what I did was I ran the green wire right through here, through the fender, and I ran it to the ignition module. Every vehicle with fuel injection will have an ignition module. Um, this is kind of where you have to go online, but I went online and I searched um, which wire off the ignition uh, module had the actual power source and it turned out for a 97 Tercel it is a black wire with a blue stripe okay so make sure you get the right one because you won't get the proper signal without it and what I did was there's a little splicer that actually came with the uh, with the with the tack usually they're like two dollars or something in a store and I just spliced it on there so that was pretty simple and that's basically it it's very simple to wire up like a tack it's just a matter of locating where the ignition module is every car will have one unless it's a carbureted car with a few uh, with a distributor on it then you're going to want to go off the ground other than that that's all you're going to find i also just wanted to point out that if anybody has uh, done it my way that green that, that running the green wire uh just over to the fender there makes it not viewable from when the door is closed so you know it's not like you have a big ugly wire hanging out there and there you have it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.